Okay, we're almost getting dark here now, so I'm going to do a little motion lapse. Uh, DJI Pocket 2 has inbuilt motion lapse in it, it's quite good. Two ways to set it off. Um, the first one is to use the little screen that's on board the, the handset. Now, that gives you, in effect, two waypoints. I'm going to call them waypoints, that, that might be the wrong terminology, but we'll call it, call it waypoints. Um, but essentially, you tell it where to start, and then you tell it where to finish. If you use the handset, you get two options, A and B. If you use a phone, you get four points. So I can start it up here, maybe come down to here, and come along to here, and, and you, you can make four distinct points. So I'm gonna use a phone because I want to do a little sweep at the harbor. Um, tides out, so it's not really that interesting, but we're gonna do a little sweep at the harbor and go around and hopefully go to end up where the sun is setting. Um, it's January, we're in Scotland, it's actually the 25th of January today, it's uh, Rabbi Burns' day, if any of you are familiar with Scottish uh, history, he's a famous Scottish poet. So we're going to set that up now, um, and let's, uh, I'll, I'll try and record the phone screen, I'm not sure how well that will work, but we'll, we'll give it a bash anyway, uh, and if I can record the screen then I will, then we'll, we'll, we'll talk you through it. If not, I'll maybe do it as an overlay afterwards. So, let's get out to the harbour. So if you've never done a motion lapse before, let me explain a little bit. It's just a time lapse with motion. You set the gimbal down, um, you start your, your, your sort of motion lapse, you tell it where you want to start, where you want to end, and basically it'll, it, you give it a duration, a time duration, and, and it will go. And by using the, the time lapse mode in the phone, we can, we can set four points, if you like. So select time lapse. And then for the wee drop down button, we selected how long we wanted it to be. And I decided 20 minutes for this one. And 20 minutes gets you about 13 seconds of footage. So 20 minutes was good. Three seconds apart. Each photo was taken three seconds apart. And we went for the custom motion at the end here. So once you've got the custom motion selected, turn your gimbal by hand or with a wee joystick on your phone if you if you choose you turn it by hand up to where you would like it to start and then you hit that little blue plus button and that's the starting point so that's a the next point is down here hit this wee blue button when you're happy with that and that's b the next point is c and the last point, I was actually going to finish it in the water, but I, I, I just, I, I forgot to tilt the camera, but yeah, so, so we stop it there. Then you hit the record button on the, on the, as if you're going to start a video, just hit the record button there, and it will reset the gimbal back to your starting point, point A, and it then goes, and it takes a few seconds to do it. This is 20 minutes worth, 13 minutes worth of footage, and I think it turned out pretty well. I'm quite happy with that. Easy, easy wee time lapse, and it looks pretty good. So, hopefully, the audio is uh, picking up all right. I'm, I'm just holding it in my hands, and <laughs> had seagulls giving me an awful lot of attention. I think it's because it had this thing on my neck. It looks like a little mouse there, so. Anyway, they didn't manage to eat me, so we're quite safe. 